Hi, today we will be talking about the beginning, the end, an essential part. Uh, we are talking about reclaiming the wet stuff and then the leftover stuff. Um, we recycle all the clay we can because um, it can be reused to make new beautiful work. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm collecting my dry trimmings. Um, I, I was carving away and got all these extra drier bits of clay. And I have some really wet clay, uh, which is just, you know, it, it uh, was left over from throwing. Um, and now I'm just kind of mixing it all in, getting into one space, and then I'm going to let it dry out. Um, just let it air dry, um, and then but but stop until it gets it to a nice consistency where I can kind of knead it and wedge it into a more even consistency. Something I can now use to throw with. It can't just be um, this slop. It has to be kind of uh, wedged and kind of. Um, turn into a, a nice beautiful texture. Um, this texture is no good right now. It's too too wet, too dry. Um, even in my personal bucket, I forgot that this, this was in the bottom of my bucket. I started stirring it up and these are, um, they can get ya. Um, when reclaimed on a larger scale, you can have a lost sponge in there. Um, if you hand wedge, that's not a problem, but if you use a pug mill, some, like a machine to help process it, um, sponges can get eaten up and it becomes a part of that clay mixture. And then when someone goes and throws, um, all that stuff, all that impure stuff can, can get in the way of you throwing. So just, just be mindful of uh, where you're putting your random tools. This would hurt. This has happened. stir it up and then I'm gonna let it um, just kind of dry out and then it becomes a little stiffer and then I'll show you that wedging process. There's several techniques um, the wedging just helps take the air out to get an even consistency and it's kind of fun. <laughs> 